You're minding their business. They're minding theirs. You mind yours. Some of you won't some of you won't ever be in business because you're doing stupid stuff like that. You're trying to keep up with the Joneses. You're rushing too soon. And then when you find yourself in a situation that you know in your heart that you're rushing, you shouldn't be there risking real money or trying to get a funded account passed. You don't know what you're doing yet. Why even bother with that until you know exactly what you're doing? How you're going to mess yourself up. You have to learn who you are. Trading for a living. And the first portion of that book, in my opinion, is the, that's the gem. He talks about alcoholism and, and the effects of it and the way it affects people, families, relationships, all that business. I've never been drunk in my life. But I've watched everybody in my family be under the influence of either drugs or alcohol. And you'd be surprised to see how some of them were totally different people when they were drunk. Absolutely. Like you would never recognize that's the same person. Totally nasty drunks. The crazy violent drunk. And they would say, oh, it's the whiskey talking. No, that's not. That's not whiskey talking. Whiskey just numbed them enough to let them have no inhibitions. Without inhibitions, the real person manifests themselves. And that's what happens when you get with trading with live money. You're drunk. You're driving drunk right now with a live account with no experience. You're under the influence of what? trying to make money and nobody's there they can take the keys from you so you have to know these things before you do it because you don't want to find out that you are a nasty violent drunk that crashes when you get with live money that's why you have to do this in demo you're going to find your character flaws that causes those same individuals to go to alcohol to self-medicate. They know what's going on, but they won't share it with anybody to help get themselves through it. Failed relationship, midlife crisis, anxiety, generalized anxiety, I'm sure is a major contributing factor. But all those things and other things that it's, the list is too long, You've been hurt, you've been scarred, a bad relationship, you broke up, you're lonely, whatever that is, leads them to alcohol or substance abuse. And trading is in that too. It is the same thing, folks. It's the same thing. I have never been drunk with alcohol. The point is, trading with live money, if you don't know yourself, you don't know your model and you don't know the way the market is behaving and you haven't seen at least four quarters or a full year of what seasonality looks like, you have no baseline. You have no idea. So that's equivalent to you flying into a city you've never been, heartbroken, angry because someone left you, you got fired, you got a cancer diagnosis, six months to live, and now you're in a hotel where there is a high-end bar right across the street. What are you going to do? You're going to go there and medicate yourself. But how are you going to conduct yourself after that? You don't know. So why would you do that with live money? You don't know what you're going to do to yourself. And you don't know the consequences that you're going to do to yourself as a result of whatever it is you do while you're drunk. Trading with live money, losing that, the pain that that's going to bring on because you weren't ready and you're going to know that you weren't ready when you were ignoring that you knew beforehand. And that's going to present all kinds of scar tissue. That's going to promote you to do what? Make bad decisions. And now you have fear. When teaching my students to operate and learn about themselves in a demo. That's what the demo's there for. That they tell you, here, learn our platform, learn how to trade the patterns that you do with the demo. 
Well, you think you watched a uh, video by me or someone else or read a book? Because that's what I did. Oh, I know what that looks like. A one, two, three top. Oh, yeah, it's a descending bridge and that's a hidden shoulder. I'm ready. <laughs> You're not. I wasn't. You, you, this is the way it is, folks. But the demo is there for you to discover who you are. What makes you tick? Where are you impulsive? See, that's what it takes to do this. And anybody that tells you otherwise is full of shit. And that's just the way it is. They have some kind of ulterior motive. They have something to sell you. They want to derail you. But I'm telling you, you can do this. But you're going to have to submit to a lot more time than you want to. But once you learn how to do it and you know what sets you off, what makes you feel impulsive? What are the triggering mechanisms in your personal life, in your thinking? Are you wrestling with a mental illness that makes you do certain things that are not you know, supportive for a successful endeavor in trading? That you have to now find coping mechanisms. Are you a drunk? Are you a drug user? If you are, you need to tackle that because trading will not work with that. Are you in a toxic relationship? If it is that you're in a toxic relationship, you either fix the relationship or leave it. And if you've been you know, removed against your choice from a relationship because they left you, or you had to leave because it was a toxic relationship, you have to let that go. And forgive them and forgive yourself and move on. Because if you're feeling all those things, those pressures and regrets, and what if thinking if we stayed together, or what if I would have left sooner, it would have been so much better. You gotta stop. Because all those things are gonna trigger you to want to feel better. And to feel better, you escape. That's what I did. I got in an RV and I escaped. The pressure of me wanting to do something, I know my rules say I'm not going to be able to do. So I have to take myself away from it. I've never been drunk before, but I get drunk in these markets because I get a bloodlust. I know what I can do in here. But I also know that you're not going to, like, well, just yesterday. I recorded the trade. I told you where it was going to go for ES. Tired. I could not really focus. I was tired, really, really tired. But I wanted, I wanted to get home. Like I wanted to get home and, and bed down here. 